I, I'm going to make um, a little video of how to make some oatmeal biscuits. That's what we call them, biscuits in the UK. But in the likes of other countries, uh, United States, Canada, they call them cookies. But I'm going by what I call them in my country. So I'm starting off with, this is plain flour. I want 75 grams. I'm going to weigh it on my scales. My scales back to note. That's it. I want 75 grams. Just slightly over there, take some up, that's it, put it through the sifter, oh, we've got some little lumps in it. And then I want one tablespoon of baking powder. Now I'm going to put one teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm also going to put a pinch of salt, just a pinch. that in oh dear. and then I want 60 grams of sugar and I'm using demerara sugar so I have quite a lot of this and I want to use it up so it's 60 grams of that. Not necessary to, to do this with the sugar, but just in case there's any lumps in it. Yeah. And then I want Seventy five grams of oatmeal. This is not too rough, but sometimes I put it through my blender, but I'm just using it the way it is today. So I want seventy five grams of that. You get it exact. That's it. Back on that. And I don't need the, the sieve anymore. I'll put the, the oatmeal in and then I'm going to put just a little shake of ground cinnamon. I usually put some um, nutmeg in, but I haven't got any nutmeg left. <laughs> and then I need 75 grams of melted butter. And into that mixture, I'm going to put uh, 75 grams. This is melted. It's not actually butter. It's just um, margarine spread, but... Um, if you prefer, you can use butter, but I already have spread, so I'm adding that. Make sure it all goes in. Okay. 
で。And into that, I'm going to put one tablespoon of golden syrup. If I can get this to pour out onto the, the spoon, it's quite thick. I think that's a good tablespoon. I just have to leave the spoon in there. And then I want two tablespoons of lemon juice. I hope I've got two tablespoons left in here. I'm not sure. That's one. I think then I'm going to add just a few raisins. This is optional, it's what anyone might want. Not a lot, just a few. going to put just a little touch of vanilla essence just a small amount not a lot Stir that around now. That's oh yes it is just coming together. I'll have to use my hands now. Get the stuff off the spoon. There now, 
I'm going to have to wash my hands. Now I've set my oven on 180 degrees and I'm now going to put some of this stuff away up the table. I've got no room. Now I'm going to roll the into they don't have to be perfect just small balls that's one a little bit flatter <laughs> Three. Just roll them in your hand into about a, a meatball size. That's about as much as you need. Put on a little, little bit of that in there. bits of the bowl out of the bowl you don't need a lot of room because they do expand a little bit but not much I'll press them down a little bit and now I'm going to put those in the oven for about I'll have to wash my hands first before I pick that up So I'm going to put them in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll check them after 10 minutes to see how they are coming along. I've put them on the middle shelf so it's not too high or too low. So I will check them again in about 10 minutes. So that is my oatmeal biscuits or cookies, whatever you want to call them. Um, I am making another batch here because <laughs> I don't have any biscuits left at all in this house. So if you like that, give a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll show you again sometime. So bye for now.